Hey, what's up YouTubers? Lee John Blackmore here at Super Easy Guitar. So this week we're doing part two of how to play an easy solo. If you haven't seen part one, I've put the link below, so check that out because this video is more advanced so, and I'm gonna build on the principles that we've already covered in the first video, okay? So check that out before you start this video. Now, what I'm gonna show you in this video is just a step up from that. We're gonna go through it nice and slowly. And at the end of the video, I've put a backing track and I'm gonna show you exactly how to play along with it. Actually, there's three short backing tracks and they're in different keys. So I'm gonna show you how you can use that and use it as part of your practice regime, okay? Let's zoom in and have a closer look. So what you should be comfortable with from the first video were the open chords. And what we were doing, we were finding the root, for example, A, we were gonna find the root note on the bottom E string, which A is at the fifth fret we established. Then we were going to the string next to, and we were playing this, we were playing this kind of box position. Okay? So we're gonna use the same principle, except now, instead of using open chords, we're gonna use power chords, okay? And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you how to play the power chords. They're really easy. They're just two string chords, so you can use your first finger. It's in the second fret on the fourth string, okay? So what we do though, we play the fifth and the fourth string. Just the two strings. So that's gonna be our A power chord. Now if we move our first finger over to the G string, then we play the two middle strings. That becomes D. And then if we jump over that last string and go put our finger on the A string, the fifth string, and play the bottom two strings, and we've got E. This is a really kind of popular progression. Like a progression is just a, a chords in a certain order, okay? So it goes A, D, E, and we go back around A. Okay, so what I'll, how I'll play, I'll play it with a shuffle, so it'll sound like this, okay? So by the way, if you want to play that shuffle, all I'm doing is adding my third finger into the fourth fret on the same string as I, I've got my finger. So for the A chord, it's going down in the fourth fret, down, down, on, off, on the D string, okay? Down, down, on, off, down, down, on, off. Okay, so down, down, on, off. Then the same thing, but now over with the D string open, so the two middle strings. Then I go down to the e, the A string, but then I'm gonna play the, the E and the A together. Bit of a stretch here, then back to A. And then the whole thing will start again, so you stay on A. I've kept that nice and basic, nice and straight, so it's easy to play along with, okay? So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let the song play through, we're gonna let the backing track play through. And it's gonna go through all three chords, okay? And what we're gonna do, we're gonna stay in this position here. So we're gonna go five, seven on the A string, which is the fifth string, five, seven on the D, the fourth string, five, seven on the G, Okay, which is the third string. Now it changes here. When we get to the B string, the second string, it's gonna go five, eight. So you can either use your third finger there or your pinky, whatever you're more comfortable with. And finally, the top E, the first string, the thinnest string, we're gonna do the same there. We're gonna go five, eight. So it's gonna sound like this, right? Now you don't have to play it that fast, that's just as an example, okay? So. Now some of you might recognize this as a scale, the pentatonic scale, okay? 
Now the only thing we're missing from the pentatonic scale is the bottom string. Why aren't we playing the bottom string? Well actually this time we can. So if you're comfortable with this position, you can actually play the bottom E string as well. So the bottom E string is always going to be the same as the top E string. Okay, so the top E string was 5-8, so therefore the bottom string is going to be 5-8, right? Because they're both E strings, just low and high. So effectively we could do what is called a pentatonic scale. And it goes like this. Starting on the bottom E, 5, 8, A string, 5, 7, D string, 5, 7, G string, 5, 7, B string, 5, 8, and top E string, 5, 8. Okay, and the reason it's called a pentatonic is because it's a five note scale. Now, if I was to count those notes, it'd be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, and then it starts again, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Okay, that's where it gets its name, pen, meaning 5. So let's have a little go with the first backing track. Now, the first backing track I've kept in the key of A, right? It's this A note that's going to be the dominant sound in this backing track, okay? So you can either start next door to A or on A. There's no rules at this point. So let's have a go with the backing track. So you don't have to do that, you can just go really slow. Even slower. Try and play it a bit faster. Okay, at this point we're not worried about what note we're going to finish on or what note we're going to start on. Now, the second backing track is going to be in the key of B. So that's A, 5th fret, A sharp, now B. So we do the same thing. So lastly, I've changed the key to the key of G. So we know G is starting on the third fret on the bottom E. So you can either start on that note or next door. Okay, so we're gonna go. So there you have just the three keys, okay? If you wanted to do another key, let's say F, for example, then you could just play F. Now the notes next to, the string next to F is gonna be B flat, so I'm just going next door. Okay, for the progression, then I'm going up two frets on the A string. So that's now C, I'm going back down to B flat and then finish with F. So therefore, if it's in the key of F, you can just play the pentatonic right there. Okay, it doesn't matter how fast or how slow you go. Let's say in the key of C, so all the way up to eight, There's our progression and C, so eight. Let's say D, it's too higher. Okay, it just starts on 10. Let's say G flat, 
which is two. The only one you might have difficulty with is the E, but it's actually the easiest, it's just some of the notes become invisible. So there's E, and then that will go to A, and then the tricky one is B, back to A, and then E. Now, because, you know, we can't go any lower than this, because E is open, right? So we go O3, the next string O2, the next string O2, next string G, O2, the next string um, B is O3, and the next string top E is O3. Now if you come back the other way, you have to start on 3. 3 O, 3 O, 2 O, 2 O, 2 O, 3 O. So that's going to be how you play E. Or if you have a cutaway on your guitar like me, or if you're on the electric, you could start at 12. So it's going to be 12, 15, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 14, 12, 15, 12, 15. So you have two options with E. So I hope that's cleared a few things up and I hope that kind of helps you out in your journey playing lead guitar, all right? Obviously this is just on the acoustic for now, so we're gonna keep it simple. I probably will do a part three to this video at some point, so keep an eye out for that. Now let's get on to the backing tracks. So I've put them in order in the key of A, in the key of B, then the key of G. So that's gonna be starting on the fifth fret, then starting on the seventh fret, then finally starting on the third fret. Enjoy! So there you have it guys, hope you enjoyed this week's lesson. Please don't forget to subscribe, share it with your friends, check out my links below and I'll see you again the same time next week. Enjoy. Mm -hmm.